Hi fans, I wanted to make a video for you of the things that we've done on the RV since we got it. Um, standing on the porch of my sticks and bricks and looking out at the RV in our driveway, courtyard, whatever. This is the entry to the RV. You can see I redid the steps here and you can see the wood flooring a little bit that we redid. Ignore that cosmetic issue. I need to fix it. It just does not want to fix for me lately. Um, we did redid all of these rails, took them off, scraped them down, new butyl tape, sprayed them with glue in the dark paint, and put in new screws. Um, we got new LED clearance lights for the front and back, back, front. And here we're going to walk in. This is the curtain I made for the bathroom. This is the remote and the light in our bathroom. The new paneling. Do you remember the rotted wood? That was gross. All new beautiful wood. And our, our fantastic fan one of two. Um, I got a rope light in the shower, so maybe I can have some light when I take a shower and the shower curtain's closed. New shower head, new stuff for the shower, and all the drawers are inside so we can acclimate to the space. Kids have been busy making a mess, and so have the adults. Um took the rolling door off of this because it was tough to move and I just found it to get in the way. <clears throat> new light in the kitchen, new fan, which is manually operated. Uh, you're standing in the kitchen anyways. We don't really need a, a remote. And the curtains that I made and blackout curtains. Those were actually given to us by a neighbor who was donating stuff to our yard sale, and they happen to be green, the RV happens to be green, and they're blackout curtains. So, they fit perfectly, and I was able to make two pairs of curtains out of one pair. Lovely thing about the RV. Here's our beautiful wood floor, and the beautiful mess my kids made. These are um, extra post slots, for a table that is in our storage compartment. We had found that first, but didn't really know what to do with it. When we pulled up the carpet, we found those. So, we utilized them. We p bolted them down as they were supposed to be, and we even repainted them. And it got scuffed up, whatever. This is where the bed should sit. The frame is in our room, waiting for us to um, put the mattress on it, or secure the mattress to it. The mattress is technically on top of it. Um, solar charge controller, our power inverter, and our power converter. There's our storage still light. This is our <clears throat> max fan. This is one of our max fans with a remote, and there's a max fan in the girl's loft. You can see their little lights. They have two up there. This is the driving area. We still have the ladder. And we've made curtains out of old t-shirts and things. In fact, the back paneling to all of them. Oh, the other one's over there. We redid that window today. The back paneling to all of the curtains is actually the Moby wrap that I used to wear Roxanne and Danica and Ziva in. So, here is the view, the main view of the RV. I'm standing in the bathroom as far as I can go, and that's your view. So, let me take you outside, finish up, I'll show you our tires and why we desperately need to get them fixed. Look at that in the side wall. Yeah. Sure, that's going to last. That's going to blow out as soon as we leave town. 
let's face it, have, when was the last time Bridgestone printed this? Printed like this. How old do you think these things are? Any guesses? So, yeah, we need some money for that. We need more butyl tape to replace the butyl tape on this because it's leaking. It's leaking kind of around the door. We need to replace that butyl tape. But alas, we're running out. We need to order more and don't really have the money for it. Our burning man is still there. <clears throat> the RV. Here is the front. There's the loft. We had to take out that window, redo it, and we painted uh, our roofing material straight down over the loft. So, I mean, why not? Uh, our wires for our solar panels, our clearance lights, our solar panels are up there. And uh, here's the, where the coach battery should go. And it's a little GB Harbor Freight 35 amp hour battery that we put on there just to get by. It's uh, officially dead, so we do need a new coach battery, but obviously it needs to be kind of small to fit around those big gauge wires that we have running to our solar battery bank. There are two glass mat AGM batteries <laughs> that we use for our electricity for all of our electricity the rails hey I did most of the rails okay I'm kind of proud of them and our sewer vents we have a white one and a black one and yep there's the RV and get back to the other side because we're having our yard sale and somebody's buying something yay one less thing that we have to worry about because well we don't need a Kirby vacuum on the RV, do we? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed your tour. 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 Having trouble talking. I've been out here all day. Um, yeah. Just wanted to let you know that we've been hard at work. And that's why I have been so quiet. Alright? So, take care. Till next time. Bye, fans.